Warcliffe coil may have been around for a long time, but it's still one of the best rocket launchers in the game right now, especially for PvP. Well, today I'm going to go through the weapon, the stats, its unique perks, as well as how to get Warcliffe coil in Destiny 2. And if you're new around here and find this useful, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn notifications by hitting that bell. But the Warcliffe coil is an exotic power rocket launcher. Originally due to come out in Destiny 1, its image was found in the game files but never actually made it to release until vanilla Destiny 2 came out in 2017. Now back then it was called the Dubious Volley, but unfortunately it stayed as a Destiny 1 myth until it was added to Destiny 2 as a new exotic rocket launcher. So looking at the perks of the Warcliffe Coil, we've got Mad Scientist, and this weapon fires a volley of rockets. We've also got Mechanized Autoloader, where this weapon automatically reloads on ammo pickup. So check out the stats for this one, we've got 55 for stability, 82 for handling, 55 for reload speed, 100 for velocity, 55 for blast radius, it's a 60 rounds per minute rocket launcher with one in the magazine. Well next up let's have a look at how to get the Warcliffe coil, and to get this one is a random world drop exotic weapon, which unfortunately means there's no quest for it. So Zur does sometimes sell this weapon when he's around at the weekend, and I do a video each week letting you know where Zur is, so subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss an update from Zur. Well next up let's have a look at the Warcliffe Coil Catalyst and to get the Catalyst you're going to need to complete strikes and the best thing to do is select strikes in the Vanguard playlist and the Catalyst will drop for you when you complete the strike. So to complete the Catalyst once it drops you need 500 kills. So completing the Catalyst will net you the Pinpoint Guidance Module perk and that tightens the rocket spread. Well next up let's have a look at a mod to make the Warcliffe Coil much more powerful and there's a really good charge with light mod called Argent Ordnance that's currently in the combat mod set. And that means you can make the Warcliffe Core even more powerful than it already is and increase the damage. You need a mod on your armor to gain charge with light stacks. And this could be something like taking charge where you gain charge with light by picking up orbs. And you'll know that you'll be charged with light because it says in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. The buff stays there until you use it. And as for rocket launchers, Argent Ordnance is definitely one of the best mods. When you got charged with light and you ready the rocket launcher, you see a notification saying Godslayer warheads are active, so you know it's time to fire off those rockets for extra damage. Just be careful with the Warcliffe coil because it's quite easy to kill yourself when firing this thing at close range. So one thing worth mentioning about the Warcliffe coil is it's good for PvP, so it is great for both PvE and PvP, but the reason it's good for PvP is it's really hard to get out of the way of the volley of rockets, so death is pretty much assured. Warcliffe Call currently sits in the top 10 most used exotic weapons for competitive PvP, which means the best players are using it. So, other weapons in that list include Dead Man's Tail, Bastion, Chaperone, and also Crimson. Well, finally, today, let's have a look at the Warcliffe Coil lore. So, I do always like to have a look at the lore on the weapons that it fleshes out the Destiny 2 story, and it's really, really good. So, we've got the Warcliffe Coil lore, Ingenuity, Desperation, a haphazard prototype of terrible power. Such were the factors at play in the Warcliffe incident. So we've got Hammett's Log. The lead is good, but so are the Fallen tracking me. I swear on my ghost that there's hundred camped out there. I'm cornered in the lab, using shanks to run me out of ammunition. War cultist, arm thyself. At least it's a weapon lab. This uh, rustic device was once an experimental axion emitter which sprays weird particles to light up the basement of the universe. Right here I've coupled the emitted some catacausic quark gluon coils, which will not, due to my scrupulous safety checking, create a stranglet that will devour the earth. I cook up some pain in there and microdiverse decays, and the result comes out. And if it doesn't work, well, please name the crater after me. Well, let me know down in the comments what you think of the Warcliffe coil. And that is it for this guide for how to get the Warcliffe Coil in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description. Or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again. See you soon. That will push anyone to their limits. Red Wolf, but the Cabal have no limits.
Then let's give them some. <laughs> 